So, hockey's getting towards the end, basketball's getting towards the end. Well, playoffs anyway. Baseball's getting into the swing of things. Um, but it's a lot's been happening. The Rangers are done. They're missing the playoffs. I'm disappointed. It seemed like they were going to go somewhere at the beginning of the season and then just something stopped clicking and Lundqvist wasn't doing well and everybody else was and everybody else was doing terrible and Lundqvist was doing well. It just wasn't working. I don't know what happened. Uh, I, I like Elaine Vigneault. I, I hope he comes back as the Rangers head coach, but I don't know if that's going to happen. The Celtics, on the other hand, my favorite basketball team, uh, they've had a lot of injuries all year, and they're still in second place. Yes, the Eastern Conference is the weaker of the two conferences, but considering everything that they've done, losing Gordon Hayward just minutes into the opening game, uh, they've overcome a lot. Kyrie Irving really stepped up now that he's done for the year with that knee injury. Uh, Brad Stevens is just an amazing head coach. The head coach of the year probably go to the Raptors head coach, but Brad Stevens definitely deserves it for what he's been able to do with the Celtics team while he's been here. And it's, it's, I don't, I don't know if the Celtics are going to make it past the first round. I hope they do. But as for football, uh, I don't know what's going to happen there. The draft, everyone keeps shaking things up. Is the running back going to be taken first? Is the quarterback going to be taken first? Which quarterback? Who's going to jump ahead of who? It's just football. I don't even want to think about football right now uh, because hockey, I'm still not even sure who's going to win that. The Blackhawks did really well last year until the playoffs, but they're not even going to be in the playoffs. They're like basically dead last this year. Can the Penguins get a three-peat? I don't know. Is this the year Capitals shape it up and finally win something? I don't know. It, it's just sports is crazy. Uh, but what's not crazy is Conor McGregor. Uh, that dude is just nuts. And if he wasn't white, he would have either been sent to like some maximum security prison or his ass would have been deported. And you know that's true. Uh, so white privilege on Conor McGregor. There's been talk maybe he goes to WWE. Vince McMahon would not want that to happen uh, on a family-friendly show now in the sports entertainment because you, you don't want him hurting, say, AJ Styles, who could be the face of the company right now. And you don't want that. There's already enough injuries in WWE, and Conor McGregor would just accelerate any of that. Uh, he's a piece of trash. Screw him. The Yankees, uh, their bullpen last year was supposed to be the best thing in there, and they just couldn't get their act together. Uh, this year, it's supposed to be pretty much the same and should only be getting better. And they're still struggling. It's frustrating. You know things are going wrong when Mr. Houdini, David Robertson, gets into a bases loaded jam and then gives up a grand slam. Something's not right. I don't know what it is. I'm sure we're going to find out something. Maybe it's the pitching coach or someone did some voodoo science. Something's not right about that pitching staff right now. And there's a bunch of rash of injuries there, too, for the Yankees. So, uh, hopes of... World Series, uh, I, I don't know, it's still early in the season, yes, every game does count, but it, anything can really happen come the second half, I guess, get the injuries out now and sneak into the playoffs, I, I'll see you on Thursday.